Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to place a map marker as well as everything else you need to know about. So with that being said, let's get into it. First off, let's discuss the reasons why you would use the map marker. The first main reason is it makes navigating the map so much easier. For example, you can mark your metal spawn locations or your allies or your base location and then let's say you lose your GPS, right? you will be able to here then look at the map and say, alright, this is where I am and that's where my base is with the pin and you can head there and it just makes life so much that much more easier. Second reason is it is fundamental to the delivery crate. If you do not have mark markers, you cannot actually use the delivery crate. So what you want to do is when you got the crate here, you got to head down to locations. And as you can see, I've got Caveras base, Harbinger's base, Metal Spawn and Drop Spawn. I'm going to choose Zach's base and then I'm going to go ahead and deploy the balloon. And now the balloon will head to the, the pin location that I have marked on the map. And then last key important reason of the markers is actually the fact that it transfers to other maps. So let's say, for example, I choose the best space spot on the island, right? On my single player, I found the best spot, which is, say, 40-40, right? Got the best spot. And then I want to go to an official island with all my friends. What happens is the map marker that you placed on single player will also be on your official server. So on the screen right now is actually a spawn screen right now for me joining an island world. And as you can see, it's got already some of the markers that I've already placed. So that's great. So as soon as I spawn in, it'll be there already on my mini map or on the spawn screen. So it's really, really useful. All right. So now moving on to the core part of the video, which is showing you how to place the map marker. So the first thing you need to do is actually pull out your mini map. So to do this, it's the back key on Xbox, M key on PC, or for PS4, I believe it's the pad key. Anyway, once your map is open up, you simply want to go press X on Xbox, square on PS4 and P on PC, and then you'll be given this screen. Then what you want to do is go ahead and add the longitude and the latitude. So uh, the cool thing, uh, sorry, the important thing to note is that these values can only go between 10 and 90. So you can't have a coordinate lower than 10 and you can't have a coordinate above 90. Otherwise the marker won't work, but you can do what I've just did 65.5. Um, I'm going to put 60 there. Then I'll go ahead and change the number, I mean the color to red. Now with the marker name, you can have up to 12 characters with no spaces. Um, or if you want, you can just obviously put spaces, but it can only have 12 characters and you can use numbers and letters as well. So I'm going to go TH and I'm going to go 56 and then I'm going to go ahead and place the marker and there you go. Bam, TH56 is now on the map. And that, my friends, is how you place a mar marker. Now moving on to the final bit. All right, guys, so as we're wrapping up the video, I want to give you three more tips. And those are, first of all, one, you cannot have more than 30 markers at once. Two, you cannot have two markers on the exact same coordinates. So for example, if you've got one on 4040, you can't place the second one on 4040. But what you can do is you can get the second one and make it 40.1 and then 40.1 again. And there you go. They're literally almost right next to each other. They're just a quarter apart. And there you go. You've got two markers right there. And then the final tip is that when you're on the map screen, so if you go ahead to this where it's got the add part, you can actually click over here to remove. And then you can click one that you want. So I'm going to get rid of Zach's base, remove it, and there you go. And now you have another marker spot. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I hope this video helped you out, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.